Well, now that one expert taught you the right way to listen, let's turn to another who can actually help you through tax season. Here's Alex with more. Well, this tax season is certainly proving to be an interesting time for many families due to things like the Affordable Care Act, threats of identity theft, and that fast approaching April 18th deadline. Joining us to offer some last minute tax advice to beat the deadline is Director of Block Advisors, Megan Sutton. Good morning, Meg. Good morning. So there's that April 18th deadline that we're talking about. What can people do if they're afraid that they're not going to meet it? So one out of every three taxpayers file in April. And the key thing to remember is to you must file something. The failure to not file, it, the penalty for that is 10 times greater than the penalty not to pay. So even if you think you owe something, just make sure you file your return. Right, that's something very important to keep in mind. The pain that, that could come from not filing could be a lot worse than actually just paying what you owe. And, and speaking of money, what if somebody does owe a significant amount or even something that they can't afford and they don't have the cash to actually pay it when it's due? So the IRS has options that they can help you out with, which are um, you know, extens extensions on what you pay, installment agreements, as well as paying by credit card. Okay, a lot of options for people. Now, are there certain requirements that you have to meet to file an extension? So remember, an extension to file is not an extension to pay. So you still will need to estimate what you owe and then pay at least 90% of that amount by April 18th to avoid penalties. Then you'll have until October 17th to file your return. Okay, good to know. Now, what are some mistakes that people make when it comes to filing their taxes? So right now, as people are rushing towards that April 18th deadline, they are commonly overlooking life event changes that have happened throughout the year. Things like getting married, having a baby, and retiring. Just knowing that those do impact your tax return is critical at, the, at this moment. Got it, got it, good information. Now, uh, as far as health coverage, what if the, someone didn't get to apply for health coverage this year and they're afraid of you know, having to pay those penalties? What can they do to sort of avoid that or is there anything they can do? So the, the bad news is that that penalty has nearly doubled this year. The good news is that there are options. So there are 30 exemptions to the penalty that can be applied for either on the tax return and then some of them are at the marketplace. And your advisor, your tax advisor, can help you out into figuring if you do qualify for one of those exemptions. Okay, and as far as tax advice, uh, how would you say that H&R Block is, is different from all the competition out there? Why should people really rely on the advisors at H&R Block? So we have the best in the business, first and foremost. Our tax experts um, are the best. We also have extended hours through the filing deadline at both Block Advisors and H&R Block locations. Very good to know. I mean, this time of year, people can be really stressed and, you know, it may be that they don't know where to turn for help, but you know, companies like H&R Block and advisors uh, like yourself and, and the other people in the company really make a difference for everybody. Now, if someone wants to learn a little bit more about taxes, about H&R Block, about avoiding these penalties, where can they actually go and, and learn a little bit more and become educated? So visit us at hrblock.com or blockadvisors.com for more information. Fantastic. Meg Sutton, thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you, you too. Thank you very much. And everybody else, stay right where you are. There's a lot more Morning Blend right after the break.